Okay, somehow my phone turned off while doing the video. So, now since I'm starting soon, uh, starting now, apparently, since my <laughs> phone turned off, I don't know how it did that, I am doing a foot detox, and I'm here with Lori. Hello. <laughs> yep, this is my cousin from Ohio, and she's telling me about the yellow. We have to re-show everything, because okay. I don't know if I can combine the videos. Sure. So... The yellow's pulling from my kidneys and bladder, she says. Yes. But she's going to show you here. And this is all the stuff that it helps with. Headaches, poor sleep, tiredness. Um, it actually helps you to increase your metabolism. It pulls fat from your cells. Oh, so if you're cool. having trouble getting rid of some extra weight, it helps with that. And they actually just did a study, which was really fascinating, about kids with autism. Mm -hmm. They found that it reduces the symptoms of autism by like 40%. That's amazing. That is, is really good. You know, if you can take care of your gut health, it's mm -hmm. amazing how you change your life. Well, so. I've been eating cabbage with uh, Tony, my yeah, other cousin. <laughs> Yeah, but this is just going to, this is just a couple minutes in, and it's just plain tap water that I got from the sink, and I added some Himalayan salt, just a tiny bit, and this array in here, what that does, it ionizes the water, mm -hmm. so that helps your body detoxify. So, explain the machine again. Well, this is the... Ionize Me Max. It's a professional machine because I do this professionally along with massage and Reiki and stuff like that. And this tells, the reason this is one of the best machines on the market is because it's got a high number up here of how much it pulls out the ions and gets the water to ionize. And you have to pay attention to this number here to make sure it doesn't go up too high. If it starts to detoxify somebody too quickly, the machine will shut off. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of safeguards. And so, and there's a belt. She put this funky belt on me. I don't know if I can turn my phone around without accidentally turning off my video again. Hi, hi YouTube. This <laughs> is Rose McConnell. So there's my funky little belt she put on me. It's heating up and it's got bamboo in it. Yes. And it's nice and comfortable. I hurt my back. Move in a heavy bathtub. We'll do a whole new video on the bathtub. <laughs> but that I am wearing, that is part of the machine. And the belt does what again? Well, it heats up your core body temperature, which helps your body to detoxify more easily and more quickly. And plus, the heat also helps with body aches. But when you're pulling all this stuff out, that really helps with the body aches, too. Like, my husband, after he did his first one, he called me from work the next day, which he never calls me from work. And he said, oh, my gosh, this is the first day in forever I haven't needed a Motrin. Wow, that is really good. And I have another client who she works two jobs as a waitress and bartender. Mm -hmm. And before she couldn't get out of bed in the morning and the foot detoxes because it pulls from all your joints. It makes such a huge difference. And now she's able to move around. Okay, explain all these colors to us. Okay. Well, the orange means that it is pulling from your joints, and it normally does start to pull from your joints, and that's a good thing. That'll help with the pain the next day. These clumps over here that are kind of congealing together. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Dexter. <laughs> that is actually yeast coming out of your system. Yuck. Those bubbles that are starting to come up, which those will get bigger and bigger, that's pulling from your lymph system. Now, don't wow. drop your phone in the yucky water. No, but it's <laughs> waterproof, so. Well, <laughs> but this will keep turning darker and darker because we're only about five minutes into it uh -huh. now. And the only reason why you can't have a foot detox they don't recommend it if you have a pacemaker, anything that has an electrical 
impulse mm -hmm. because of the electronics of the machine. You can't get a foot detox if you're pregnant or nursing because it pulls so much fat out of your cells that, um, you know, the baby might need that. Right, right. Oh, well, that's good to know that. I never knew that. Yeah, the, it's amazing how much it works. And well, I actually... I can't believe how dark it's getting. Yeah. When we started out, it was clear. <laughs> yes, it was just plain old tap water that I got from the sink. And this is about five minutes in. And the only thing I added was the Himalayan salt. That's amazing. That's amazing. So where's your little chart? Explain the colors on the chart so that people okay. can... I love this little chart she has. Yeah. Oh, I love this chart. So these are the different colors, like the black or the dark brown, that's detoxifying from your liver. If you have black flecks, which I always find this amazing because everybody that I do, it's different. Right. And whenever I do hairstylists, because I used to do massages at a salon, mm -hmm. they have more black flecks than anybody else. Wow. And I think it's because of the chemicals that they use. But if it's pulling orange, then you're detoxifying from your joints. The whitish stuff that gets all together, that's yeast. The green is the gallbladder. And even if you don't have a gallbladder, it'll still pull green because it will do the work that your gallbladder is supposed to do. That's amazing. It is amazing. And they actually, there's so many studies that have shown just how much this gets rid of free radicals. It gets rid of so many toxins that are in your body because we can't avoid toxins. Well, I feel better already. Like my I'm, heart rate, I think, went up a little bit. Like I'm I can feel the difference. Telling you, it is amazing. Like I, my neurologist, when I go into her, mm -hmm. the first question she asked me, are you still doing your foot detoxes? Yes, and we're YouTubing it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it is crazy what it does for you. And if you don't live in Bowling Green, Ohio, and you can't come to my house for a foot detox. It's kind of like turning brown now. Yeah, that's coming from your liver. Like it's like an orangish brown. Like yes. it's very weird. The orange is really good. And that's pulling a lot more orange than a lot of people do. And I think that's because your back hurts. Yeah, I so do have back pain. It's pulling for your back pain. And it's really important that you continue to drink water for, like, I'll get you some water now, but then you continue to increase your water intake. Intake, okay. Because for 48 hours, you'll continue to detox. Well, I drink a lot of water, so that's good. Yes. Yeah. My, Probably not as much as what I should, but I do drink a lot of water. And... If you want to get a de detox and you don't live around here, a lot of chiropractors mm -hmm. offer them, massage therapists. Uh, you just want to pay attention uh, to what kind of machine they have. Yeah. A lot of times, if you're getting it and it's a little less expensive than what you think it should be, mm -hmm. it's because their machine isn't that good. Okay. And you can buy a machine to continue to do these in your home. And you wouldn't have to get a professional grade like this one. But the one thing that you want to pay attention to if you're going to buy one is the amount of amperages that it pushes out. Okay. Like if you're going to buy a machine that costs $50, it's not going to do that much good for right, you. Right, right. Because you want to, you get what you pay for, right. basically. And you can get a professional grade machine and learn how to use it. Yeah, my cat has no manners. <laughs> what you doing? I know. I'm actually going to grab you some water. But they do. I feel so much better after I've done them. And I can always tell when it's time for me to do them because I'll start to ache a little bit. And I just don't feel as clear-headed. So, 
And yes, I know my cat's on the table. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny. Oh, uh, what you doing? He's used to my other machine, and it had a fan Can you open that, that pushed for me? the air out, and he would love to like the heat from the fan. He was pretty excited about. So he's kind of bummed about this new high-powered fan or new machine because he's not getting his little fan fix. Okay, so you'll have to tell us a story. Okay. She's great at telling stories. We love her stories. Well, actually, on the same lines as the foot detox, the reason once a month I get together with these other massage therapists mm -hmm. and Reiki masters and... We learn different things and try to figure out what we can do to help our clients more. And this particular month, this massage therapist brought in her foot detox machine. And I had been on some medication that I had an adverse reaction to. And for probably about a year, I had open wounds on my body that would not heal. I had been to oodles of doctors they couldn't figure it out. There was nothing wrong with my blood. I did one foot detox and it was 75% better. Wow. Like, that's amazing. And then they completely cleared up. Yeah. Look at my feet. <laughs> there is like, maybe uh, the iodine I take is coming out of there. <laughs> <laughs> She's yelling at me. I know. <laughs> She's got to keep her feet in the machine. <laughs> But yes, it's already turning dark. Yeah, that's amazingly dark. Yeah. Look at all those bubbles. Oh my goodness. That's great, because that means it's pouring from your lymph. I see you, buddy. Back, I'm always afraid his tail's going to wiggle in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he apparently has no fear of me. No. But we do the funnest things in our meetings or whatever when we get together. And the one time we decided that we were going to, I think it was some kind of yoga or deep breathing. So we all get together for our little class and I'm in my 50s and Julianne is in her 40s and Nan's in her 70s. Mm -hmm. And one of the positions that we had to do, we had to go up against the wall, our butt up against the wall, legs up and do this deep breathing exercise. And we're trying to be all zen-like and, you know, listen to the nice music. And all of a sudden, we can't stop laughing because we can't get off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and we get together and just giggle and learn. And we just do so many fun things that, I don't know, we push the limit to try to learn all the different things that mm -hmm. we can learn, which is fun. And... That's one of the ways that I learned that tapping, too. Was, oh, yeah. I like tapping. Oh, I yeah. love tapping. I do, too. Especially, you know, when you do that, something with my face. I, I just love the face and right at the collarbones. I don't know why it makes me feel really good. Well, you know, the collarbone, that pressure point, I think it's in the Catholic Church. They thump the thymus yep. and that, what that is actually doing is realigning you know, our whole body is an Yeah, that lines system. up with the meridian, right? Yes. Yeah. So you thump the thymus. Yeah, but it feels really good when I do it. And, oh, I, you know, I'll be standing there just talking to somebody, and I'll be tapping myself, and <laughs> they're like, are you okay? You know, I'm, I'm like, no, I just, it's a habit now, it, you know. And when you tap on your brain, on your head, mm -hmm. it is really good for your brain. And people don't realize it actually creates neurons in your brain in your brain it, like it helps you think better it brings really focus does. yeah you know we go through life when we don't realize how tense we are yeah you know our shoulders are up here and if you can just every now and then roll them back mm -hmm. and take a breath and just breathe so where i learned about tapping is a very strange story okay <laughs> so i was watching one of those shows, and, and it was old from when I was young, uh, but they would have newlyweds on them. I think it was called the Newlywed Game. And they had this, uh, I think she was of Indian culture Okay. on there, and she kept tapping her head. And they're like, what are you doing? She goes, when I tap, it makes me think. 
Yeah. And it, she was so excited, but everybody laughed. They thought it was funny what she was doing. And I was like, well, there's got to be something with that. Yeah. So I started trying to research what she was doing. And years later, I found a book. And it said tapping on it. And I started reading about tapping for the brain mm -hmm. and what she was actually doing. And apparently this was something she knew from year, you know. Yeah. But that's how I learned. I saw it on the newlywed game. That's, you know. <laughs> Isn't that not weird? It's so amazing how we learn little things just watching the silliest yep. stuff. And it, that's how we learn and grow. First time I went to a yoga class. Now, this is funny, too. We all started farting. And it sounded like a musical tune going through the room. It was like we were all in sync. Wow. Uh, it was really <laughs> weird. And the yoga teacher told us that's it's getting all that stuff out of you. Wow. When you when you do that, it's really good to fart. Yeah. And I'm like, no, we're all tooting. And it sounds like I don't know. It sounded like a little orchestra in there. It was hilarious, and we were laughing um, like it was crazy. You know, laughter really helps bring everything into alignment, yeah. too. But let's take a look at your water and see what's happening here. Yeah. How long do I do this for? That is horrible looking. It's yeah. like green and brown, and yeah. it's like all different colors, orange. And see those, like, particles, those chunky things that are growing in there. Yeah. That's actually clumps of yeast. Oh and my then goodness. All those bubbles. That's your lymph system. And it looks like you are pulling some green. Yeah, there is a lot of green in there. I can see Yeah. Quite a bit. Mostly browns and oranges, but there's a lot of green in there too. Yeah. And at some spots it actually looks black. Yes. So it's probably pulling a lot out of me. How long do we do this for? 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. You can go anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. But with this strong of a machine, if you haven't done one in a while, I wouldn't go over 30 minutes because I've been doing them for a while and I had that other machine. So when I got this one, I thought, oh, I can go 40 minutes or 45 minutes and everything's going to be fine. It's It can't harm you. Right. It just made me really tired. So, so tell us about some of the other stuff that you do. Because you do a lot with the oils, oh. a lot with the massage and the Reiki. And yes. I don't know if you all know what Reiki is. She can explain it to you. Um, actually, I'm a licensed massage therapist mm -hmm. here in Ohio, and I'm also a Reiki master, and I learned Reiki from the nuns, which was really cool, because I actually went up to their monastery and stayed. That's pretty cool. That was very yeah, cool. Yeah, I would like that. That yes. would be fun. <laughs> but they actually, since then... I mean, it was years that it took me before I became a Reiki master, mm -hmm. but they don't offer it at the Catholic Church anymore, but right. back then they did. And that's maneuvering the energies and the aura around, correct? It's a very gentle laying on of the hands, mm -hmm. and you have different positions, and you're actually using like a spiritually guided life force energy. Uh -huh. Whenever I start out a Reiki treatment, um, I always do it in silence, uh -huh. but I start at the head and I usually do some kind of prayer asking that, you know, the energy come in through the top of my head and then it comes out your hands and you get, your hands get extremely warm mm -hmm. It and it puts your body in such a state of relaxation that your body naturally heals. Now, would you consider that a part of spiritualism? Well, just say I'm just asking no, out of questions. I they say that I don't Reiki, want to offend anybody. Oh, no. <laughs> they say that Reiki holds no spiritual um creed, like it's not based out of Buddhism or Christianity or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um once I learned from the nuns, then I went and learned from other people too. Okay. So it goes anywhere from extremely spiritual 
too extremely woo woo. Right. And I kind of fall somewhere in the middle. Right, right. But it's just such a state of relaxation and they now offer it in most of the cancer wards for wow. helping with um, chemotherapy. Yeah. And the, oh, you need something for chemotherapy. That's so hard on you. It is it's so, so hard, hard on your body. You. My and sister went through it, and it was devastating watching her go through. You know, yes. it was even hard. I didn't even want to go over because she was always wrapped up in blankets yeah. and you know you could tell it was a lot on her body she was stressed it really is and they found out that with reiki it takes away a lot of the symptoms mm -hmm. that go along with it which i've been doing reiki for about 25 years mm -hmm. And in the beginning, it wasn't very mainstream. Right. Because I tried to get it into hospice because I was a hospice volunteer. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, no, no, no. But now it's in all the hospice yeah. centers. It's in most of the major hospitals. Mm -hmm. And you get that right along with your treatments, which right. is amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. So, yeah, I'm real impressed with that. Yes. Now, for your masseuse, do you use, like, rocks and different things, or...? I don't use, like, the hot stones. Mm -hmm. I do use a CBD-infused oil. Mm -hmm. and, and I've tried the CBD oil before you had me try it. I can't yeah. remember if I used it on my hands. I think I used on my hands for my arthritis, and I think that worked really well. Yeah, the thing about the CBD, you want to get it from a reputable company. Mm -hmm. It's like the foot detox machine. You get what you pay for. Right. And I order mine out of Colorado from a place called the Happy Buddha. Mm -hmm. And it's all Oh, I made, think I've heard of them. Yeah, it's all yeah. made organically. And they have a process that pulls it out that doesn't affect the plant and... So that helps a lot. And I use tuning forks in my Reiki and massage, right. which is really nice. Yeah, and the tuning forks, I heard they're good for your aura, too. They are wonderful. Yeah. And not only that, they just bring your body back to center. Yeah, it's a vibrational pull or something. Yeah. yeah. Because that works on the issue of, like, entrainment. Because your body, it's running at a certain vibration. Mm -hmm. But then you have the refrigerator, you have the microwave, right. you have all these different things that are coming in and messing up your entrainment process. So how do you raise your vibrations? Oh, you raise your vibration with oils. Mm -hmm. And again, you want to use a good oil, a therapeutic grade oil. Mm -hmm. And I put oils on the bottom of my feet every morning. Mm-hmm. Very, sometimes I'll put some of them on my chest or on pressure points. So you can raise your vibration with oils. You raise your vibration just by thinking positive thoughts. Right. You know? Yes, I'm huge on that. Yes. You know me, I'm the affirmation queen. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they do those studies where they thought negative thoughts and then put the molecules of water. Yep. They under, did the ice cubes. Yes. yes. And that makes such so a difference. We actually tried that did and you? it actually worked. So we did it for 30 days. And on the bottom of the ice cube trays, we wrote on one ice cube tray, we wrote love and happiness. And, yeah. you know, we put good words on there. And the other ice cube, ice, blah, blah, I can't <laughs> speak. Ice cube tray, we wrote on the bottom of it, we wrote hate and. You know, things that just were bad words and, you yeah. know, and the, it was amazing after 30 days because the ones with the good words on it was clear ice. Mm -hmm. The ones that weren't were like yellow and they looked like they'd yeah. been in there for a year and they were just kind of like ugly crystalled, yeah. you know, like it, it was like somebody added salt to it or something. It was like all crystalled up. It was really weird. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you could tell there was a huge difference in it. So that was my, lo I loved to experiment. And I do too. <laughs> people think I'm weird, but you know what? I'll tell you what, I learned so much from doing those little weird experiments and 
Well, my kids always, I always had them involved in doing different things. And my massage therapist teacher was really into that. And she had two plants and they were in the same position mm -hmm. for sun white. Yeah. And she just had us microwave the water for one plant and use regular water for the other plant. And the plant that we microwaved the water was near death within yep. 30 days. I believe it. I because believe it. microwaves change the molecular structure of everything. I talk to my plants, too. That yep. makes a big difference. Yeah, it makes a huge difference because they breathe. They take in carbon monoxide, and we exhale carbon monoxide. Yeah. But when you speak to them, they love that. They, like, soak it up, you know. Yeah. And that's really good for your plants. Is the belt getting too hot? It is a little warm, but I'm okay. Okay. Look well, how dark know. that is. Oh, my gosh. You got oh, lots wow. of green in there. Yeah, I can't believe how dark it is. That's just like, I can't believe that all came out of my feet. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So the pads that I use, they're like sticky pads that you put on the bottom of your feet. And, uh... They draw all the toxins out overnight while you sleep. And the first time I did it, they came out almost like a brownish black. Mm. And then the second time I did it, they were a lighter color. And then the third time I did it, they were almost like a creamish color. So I knew it was working. You know, I didn't have yeah. to keep doing it. But every now and then I will still go buy them and use them on. You can buy them at almost any pharmacy. Now, stick them on the bottom of your feet. and I think I read somewhere where you can slice onion and put yep. it. That's what Me I and thought. my mom did that. We did potatoes, too. I think okay. we did potatoes when Jackie was in. We did onions. Uh, and that will... Onions is a natural antiseptic. Mm. And people don't realize that. So if you know you feel something coming on, the cold, the flu, you get some body aches or runny nose... Cut some up and put them around your house and definitely put them next to your bed. Yeah. So that antiseptic in the onions pull all the germs out of, your, out of the air and into it. That's why onions turn black and gooey. Wow. So if you have cut up onions in your fridge and they go soft really fast, yeah. they're pulling all, you don't want to eat them because no. <laughs> they're pulling all the toxins out of your refrigerator into the onion. So garlic is your antibiotic. Onions is your antiseptic. Honey is another antiseptic. You can actually put that on a wound and it will definitely clean out. It's sort of like putting iodine on, you know. Yeah. It, it cleans out all those germs and stuff. But you want to eat this stuff daily. These are why these three are superfoods because they clean your system. They, any infections, a toothache, anything coming on, you want to start eating garlic. Yeah. If you get acne real bad, you want to eat garlic and onions and honey. That cleans all that out of your system. So you definitely want to eat that stuff. I've been doing herbs for many, many years. And those are three of my superfoods that I go to. That and beans. I have a huge thing with beans. I put beans on my eggs. People really? think that's really weird, but I'll tell you what. It is so super good for your system. Yeah. Yeah, it really works well. So I do all kinds of weird stuff. People are like, oh, what are you doing now? <laughs> I'll tell you, if I feel any I should sort YouTube of, this stuff. Yeah, if I feel any sort of cold going on, oregano is yep. a real, like, I'll put that on the bottom of my feet. I love oregano. Mm -hmm. I use, um, you know, with the essential oils, uh -huh. if you have a good one. This is way too much information, but just go with me here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's not, it's just us, right? Yep, it's just us. <laughs> Nobody well, else knows a thing. I'm telling you, I've used oils for everything, which people make fun of me, but I had gone to the doctor and they did an ultrasound and they said, you have a tumor in your uterus and you also have thickened... Um, lining mm -hmm. and we're going to have to do a hysterectomy oh my goodness i said give me three months and she's like what are you going to do because my doctors i drive them nuts 
I put lavender oil on my stomach because mm -hmm. lavender reduces tumors in mice. I've heard that. Yes. I have heard that. I went back three months later and had the same ultrasound done. The doctor was actually a little upset because he's like, the tumor shrunk and your uterine linings within normal ranges, you don't have to have wow. anything done. Three months. That's amazing. I'm I will start doing you. that. That's amazing. It is amazing. I like lavender, but the smell coming from lavender oils is seems to be too strong for me. Okay. So I always have to mix it with a carrier oil, yes. like a coconut oil to use it. No, I did. I heard a beep. Is that yeah. telling me it's over? It is over. So what we're going to do, I don't know if you want to hold the flashlight so they can see. Oh, that's nasty. I know. Wait till you see this thing. It just, but yes, now we'll just clean, whoops, there. What I'd like you to do is put a foot on each side. On each side on the oh, towel? yeah, on the towel. I'm going to mess up your towel. That's all Look right. at that. Look at that stuff just ring. Oh, my goodness. That came uh, out of my feet. I know. And then what we do, you probably don't need the flashlight anymore unless you want it. I, I want to people to it. see. Yes. That came out of my feet, people. Well, not That's... only that, but all that. And what is this? Just water? This is just water so we can clean up our feet. Ooh, it's cold water. I know. I, even if I heat up the water, it still, still feels, feels cold. Because it's a mist. Yes. So I try, but you always want to... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. cold on the toes. <laughs> I know. And then what I'm going to have you do is put your feet on the clean part. Okay. We'll fold that over too so the bottoms get clean. And then we'll just make sure you're all cleaned off. And it is really important to keep up the water for the next 48 hours. Yeah, I'll drink a ton of it. I don't think I missed any spots, but it's up to you if you want to drink. No, it looks good. Okay. But yeah, that's our foot detox. That's just nasty, nasty, nasty. I know. Look at the ring it left on. No wonder you use plastic in that thing. Well, not only that, once you rinse this that. out. Let's show that. I want to show that. What it, like... I'm going to go add a little water before I clean it, and I'll bring it back out so you can see how many black flecks are in there. Yeah, I definitely want to see this. This has definitely been something. What? It, my feet feel fantastic, though. Absolutely. And the, the belt, I'm loving the belt. It's nice and warm and toasty. Look it's that. just that I added water, but even more stuff will come out. It's just crazy. That's um, amazing. Yes. My feet feel really good. My back's feeling really good. I'm glad it took all that junk out of me. I needed a good detox. Now, I do other detoxes, too. About once every six to eight months, I will drink detox tea which is good for flushing your system. You don't want to do it all the time. I just do it for like a week or two. Well, I'll drink detox teas and I'll eat really healthy and stay away from the breads and the glutens and the processed foods. And it's just a really good way to clean out your system. You know, you want to keep your motors clean in your car and, you know, you have to have an oil change, right? So the detoxing is like getting that oil change in your, in your body. You need to do a lot of different things, and I do. I like to do different stretches when I detox, and it really helps just to move things out that don't belong in there. Yes, <laughs> that is so true. This is not my toothbrush. It's my toothbrush I use to clean the coil. So oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm, uh... Well, this has been fantastic. Are we still doing more, or is that done? I, while we're done, I just have to clean up, and 
like I said, if you're interested in getting a foot detox, um, you can always Google it, check with your chiropractor, massage therapist, some spas do it. And drink lots of water. Drink lots and lots of water. They vary in prices depending on where you get it. Um, could be like anywhere from 25 to $50. I want to show them your room. Can I walk back there now that my feet are dry? Yeah. So you got to see this masseuse room. Oh, no, wait, I'm attached. Oh, sorry. Whoops, I dropped your belt. I'm like throwing stuff on the floor. So this is just a beautiful room and it's a little dark in here now. I can turn on a light. She does all kinds of beautiful stuff. Look at that. This is just so cool. I love this cabinet. That I cabinet is so beautiful. And she does now all the different stuff. Now she has all these little tincture bottles. I use mine for tinctures. She uses all hers for all kinds of little rocks and crystals and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Doing this is all my research area. Over yeah. Here. She does a lot of herbs over here. You can see I've been doing herbs for years. So I'm just really happy to see that. That I'm not the only person. Yeah. She has a ton of books there and just all sort of, yeah. Normally there's a massage table set up. Yeah. And I can do the tuning forks. Those are so... Oops, that is so cool. Yeah, there's those. And then I also have some that are just meant for the brain. Mm -hmm. And the way that you can use these, like, you can use a pendulum in order to pick which one you use if you want. Mm -hmm. And then you just hit this. Can you hear that? I can feel it like vibrating in my head. Yeah, and if you have a back injury, like I can set that right on I don't there. know if I can. <laughs> I can't yeah. turn the phone around like that. I just have it set up on her back like this. And that can actually help take away pain. That is really cool. And depending on which one you get... They have different vibrations. Yeah. I can hear it. I don't know if they can. I'm half deaf, yeah. so I'm hoping these guys can hear the noise. It probably, the noise isn't as loud as the vibration and the way that you feel. But Tony had the wind chimes, and that's how they, when the wind chimes blew, yeah. and I was standing next to them, that was kind of like it was a vibration. The noise was like a vibration yes. in my head. So it was very weird, and it just felt so good standing next to them. It does. It was amazing. You know, you pick one of these, and even if you do it right before meditation. Oh, yeah, can I can hear. hear that one very well, yes. <laughs> even if you do it right before a meditation. Oh, that's because I hit the metal. <laughs> <laughs> then... It just helps put your body into its own center. That is amazing. These are, like, there are so many tools out there that you can do instead of using pharmaceuticals. Absolutely. You can use the oils. Yeah, I do some oils. Diffuser back here. The um, tuning, tuning forks. forks. I have all sorts of books on Reiki so I can learn. I also am a hypnotherapist. Uh-huh. And I want to start doing the Reiki 